Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, I'm the offbeat collector, and I love stuff. And one of the kinds of stuff that I love is Beanie Babies. So today, I'm going to show you all of the amphibians and reptiles in my Beanie Baby collection. We're going to start with Legs the Frog. Just a simple, very simple green frog. Totally, completely green. It's not easy being green, but Legs makes it look pretty easy because he's just so darn cute. And next, we have a slight evolution from Legs to Smoochie. Smoochie is green and yellow, so not too simple. They got a little more elaborate in the designs over the years. So they added a yellow belly, yellow feet, and hands. I guess frogs have hands, right? And yeah, Smoochie is also a very cute frog. <laughs> Next, we have a 2000 Millennium Frog. Ooh. This is Prince. And, I mean, you kind of just expect them to make a frog named Prince, right? That's, that's kind of the gimmick with frogs, right? You kiss them and they turn into a prince, right? Oh, well, you don't kiss each other. Oh, well. Anyways, they've got shiny feet, which is kind of super cool, which kind of gives them... Almost gives them an actual scaly look like they're real frogs. <laughs> but yeah, they've got some cool colors to them. Prince is definitely a pretty nifty frog. Next, we have a Beanie Boo frog. This is Speckles. And he's covered in speckles. Very shiny speckles. Very cute. I love him. Like, he's got these orange eyes with his green shiny speckles. He's adorable, let's face it. And then, one of the cutest things I think I've ever seen, we have this tie. It says Cuddlies. I don't know if that's a line of its own. I don't know, but I think he's like the cutest thing ever. And the only thing cuter than this large Floyd is this little baby Floyd. <laughs> Like, they're so cute. I actually got these guys at a Hobby Lobby because, I mean, they were so adorable that I didn't mind paying up to get them. They're so soft. They've got the silkiest, softest fur you've ever felt. Like, they are absolutely amazing. Everyone needs a pair of Floyds because Floyds make life better. I mean, just, just look at this guy. He's got perfect little feet. He's just... He's too cute. Like, how could you not love Floyd? I love him. I think he's absolutely amazing. And if you watch my shopping spree video, you'll know that I just got this beanie belly frog. His name is Snapper. And I just, uh, I'll say this a hundred times. I love the beanie bellies. I love all the Thai creations, but beanie bellies are just, they're too cute. <laughs> Next, we're going to go into the turtles. He's a little slow getting over here, but not too slow. This is Zippy, the Beanie Boo. He's got almost sad eyes. He's just like, hey guys. He's, I think, a sea turtle. Let's see, got these little legs that look like fins. I think he's a sea turtle. Next thing we have rolling over is a turtle beanie ball. This is Tiki. Great color combination. I love dark purple with lime green. I always think it looks amazing. So this guy's super cool little turtle. Perfectly round. And then, super fast, coming in, so speedy. Right? Oh, yes, finally. Um, this is Speedy the Turtle. I love Speedy the Turtle. I think he is so cute. This is one of the most simple and yet adorable designs of a Beanie Baby, I think. Um, he's just so perfectly round and his little head is so round and just the little classic black beady eyes on the original Beanie Babies. I love them. So I think Speedy the Turtle has done really well. I think he's so cute. 
I did not have this guy as a kid. I found him later when I was growing up at a, like a thrift store, um, probably a Goodwill. But I remember getting this guy in a Happy Meal when I was in the third grade, the little teeny tie version, and being like so excited. <laughs> so I love that I have Speedy the Turtle now. But I also have Speedy the Buddy. The beanie buddy, that is. How cute is this guy? I mean, this is one of those designs that's so simple and yet so epic. The way it looks like a shell, but it's not, you know, really dimensionally different from the plush. I mean, he's cute. And now we're going to get into the snakes. Hissy the snake is one of my favorite beanie babies ever. I did get him when I was in the third grade. My mom took me to a place where you were allowed to pick out six Beanie Babies because at the time, you know, they limited how many you could purchase at a store because too many people were buying them all up for resale and, you know, not everybody could get their hands on one. So they would limit how many you could get. And we went to an event and you could pick out six. And so she picked three and I picked three. And one of the ones I got was Hissy the Snake. And I've just, till this day, it's one of my favorite Beanie Babies. I just, this design of the coiled spring snake is different than anything else that they've done. So it just makes him epically cool in my mind. So, yep, Hissy the Snake, definitely one of my favorites. Next, we're going to get into another guy that I think is so cool looking. This is Lizzie the Lizard. And Lizzie the Lizard is another Beanie Baby that I did not have as a kid, but I did find later in life at a Goodwill. And I got so excited that I bought three of them. So this is Lizzie the Lizard, and I paid 99 cents a piece for these, and that's why I have so many, because who doesn't want three super cool looking lizards? This is one of the characters that was released as the original Teeny Ty McDonald's collaborations. So I did have the tiny version of him from a Happy Meal, but I was super excited to get this guy. Um, I do think it's funny though, if you look clearly, his belly is the same fabric as Twigs the Giraffe. One moment. Since I do have a million Beanie Babies in here, let me just pull out a Twigs the Giraffe and show you. Tell me that's not the same fabric. Like, smart, right? They reuse this fabric. <laughs> from the giraffe as the belly of the super cool looking lizard. And it totally works. I mean, it really works. But yeah, I love Lizzie the lizard. I think he's so cute. I got three of them because why not? And going into the next, not really lizard, more like iguana. We're going to talk about the most common <laughs> beanie baby error, I think, that ever happened. Um, if you know anything about Beanie Babies, you know a lot of people think that errors can make them worth more money, and sometimes maybe a little bit they do, but most of the errors are so common that it doesn't really make them worth any more. Um, so, this is Iggy in Rainbow. Just looking at them, you kind of know, right, that they meant for the blue one to be Iggy and the rainbow one to be Rainbow, but they mixed up the tags on a lot of them. So, like you can see this, tush tag says rainbow, and this exact same guy says Iggy. So they did mix up the tags on a lot of these. Uh, I don't think it really makes them any more valuable, but I do think it makes them interesting. I mean, the fact that his says rainbow, and this is his brother says Iggy. Oh, and then they, you know, added scales to some and not others. It's, it's a whole lot of, whole lot of fun with these guys. Um, uh, another fun thing is that these guys are made from like the same fabric as the Peace Bears. So they've got all different color variants. So the more you get, the more color you get, which can be a lot of fun. So that's just a interesting little pile of chameleons or lizards or whatever they want to be. Next we have... Are they alligators or are they crocodiles? Let's see what the tag tells us. Oh, well, name is Allie, so I'm going to go with alligator. It's got to be alligator, right? Why would you name it Allie the crocodile? Though that would be kind of humorous. I got to admit, that would be pretty funny. So this is Allie the alligator. 
super cute little pattern down the back. Nice little guys. And then we have Komodo dragons. This guy lost his tongue. Oops. <laughs> um, like I said, I get a lot of my stuff at thrift stores. Uh, I'll pick up Beanie Babies because I know a place where all plush are 50 cents. And so I'll grab them just to get some duplicates of some guys. This guy's obviously been well loved. He's lost his tag. He's lost his tongue. His tail doesn't curl the same way anymore. But he's still super cute. So this is Scaly. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a Komodo dragon. Let's let's read his tag. I don't want to be, I don't want to be lying and assuming. I love to lie, basking in the sun, living in the desert. Sure is fun, climbing up cactus, avoiding a spike. I'm the beanie you're sure to like. Um, maybe he's not a Komodo dragon. Maybe he's, um, oh, what's the name of that lizard that lives in the desert? Um, ah. Uh. I'm going to have to edit this video and add it in. Um, we'll write it on the screen. This is a... That. Okay. One of those little lizard guys and you scare him and he goes... Rah! Perfect. I love this guy. I think he's so cute. This guy has tons of character. His name is Slayer. He is a Millennium 2000 tag. I just... Oh, I love him. Look at that little gray feet. And this orange just, oh, he's got shininess in his, I don't know what do you call that. Oh, whatever it's called, it's shiny and it's pretty and I like it. He's cute. He's really cute. I like this guy a lot. Um, I feel like I'm dragging, so I'm just going to go really quickly into the last two Beanie Babies I'm going to show you today. Yeah, they're not really amphibians or reptiles. They're dragons. But I wanted to add these two dragons because they're the only dragons that live in my Beanie Baby room. All my other dragons live in my library because I keep them with my Harry Potter collection because they just look really good in there with all the dragons and the shiny eyes. They're mostly Beanie Boos. Um, this is Scorch and this is Magic and they are just amazing. I love these shiny wings. Um, you find them a lot with damaged wings because if they get loved on too much then these wings do peel. But they look so great when they're in perfect condition like this. I love these guys. I think they're absolutely amazing. I hope this video didn't drag on too long and bore you. And I hope you subscribe and come back to see more Beanie Babies. Until next time guys. Bye!